Hello everyone and you're welcome to Affinity Designer Tutorial and today we're going to talk about symbols and assets and let's see how we can take advantage of the assets and the symbols. So first let's uh, have a taste of what it means. So here we have, I have the symbol opened up and I'm just floating it, it usually is around here. So you can find it around here, if you can't see it just go to window and then if you quickly and gradually look around here, you find your symbols. If I deselect that, it'll go away. So I'll just go over here and click on symbols. And while you're here, you can also click on assets. If you see your assets here and it's going to be actually empty, except maybe it has some default uh, assets here. If I click on this group, you can see the default group, it's empty. But if I click here, you can see I have a group called ISO set one. And if I click on that, I can just drag some assets I've already created. Now, the cool thing about this is we already have, let me just close everything right here. And let's just delete everything else. I'll just hold shift and go down here and hit delete so we can have a clean slate. And I'll just dock the layers around here. So let's drag this shape. So there's a first shape i can resize this and drop this so let's add the same instance of that same shape so i have two instances of this box object and now if you notice on my layers i can open this box object click on the recolor and i can change this color now it's actually changing it for both of them right so it's the same object it means i can have multiple sets of this and i can change them simultaneously. I can have this one, make it a bit smaller, and just like that we can do the same thing. We can play around with the shadows and contrast for each of them. All right, so how do we set this up and what differentiates this from the symbol? If I have a symbol Let's go over here. I'll bring back the symbols. You can see I have some of these objects drawn here as symbols. I could just drag them again. But the thing is, I might not have, I don't have the option to create some complicated hierarchy. So let's just delete everything here. And let's see how we can create and add objects to symbols and create assets. So I'll go over here and just create a nice little heart shape. Something like that, nothing too fancy. And say I want to create a cutout at the center, somewhere around here. So I'll select these two shapes now. And here I'll go to subtract. Now I have a curve with a hole in it. And if I wanted to make this a symbol, I would go over here uh, with the object selected go to my symbols bar and click on the wheel I should just right click sorry I'll just try to just pull this out like that and here create any symbol from the current object I'll just hit that and just like that we have a symbol so what I can do now is I can delete this object and I can just go over here and drag this as much as I want into the scene and you can see I have various objects here and I can edit anyone I want I change this one and it's going to affect the entire design so that symbols uh, super nice if we let's hit detach drag right. this one and turn off sync so I'll click on this one go over here make it purple click on this one go over here make it sort of orange because i turned off the synchronize if i brought the synchronize back i can walk with all of these and give them a specific color like that when i select them or when i start bringing these back i can do something like this and it's going to sync any one of those 
I had created earlier before I click the sync button. So that's for the symbols. I'll just delete everything here. So let's just close that. So what about the assets? How do we start working with the assets? So first we need to create a group, a new category. So I'll go over here and we'll just call this category test. And I like using caps for all the categories I create. So you can easily see, I can pick this and it's my category. You can see that. So this is another category I created called sci-fi pack. I could just start dragging some shapes like that. Just wanted to use for some sci-fi design. This, you know, this is a simple panel. We'll just drag this here. So these are custom categories and that's how we can create those categories. So I'll just go back here and I have another category for bolts as we can see. So I'll just delete that one. Uh, let's go back to test. So this is a new tech, uh, category called test, but there are no assets in test. So I'll just rename this to, let's say, uh, I'm going to call it block test. So in the test category, I have assets called block test, which I'm going to be creating my assets from. And to do that, let's say I have the pen tool selected. I'll also bring out the grid. And to bring out the grid, we go to window and show grid. I think it's view. Yeah, it is show grid. I just used control and the quote or column. And that's that actually made that up. So the pen tool selected, I have snap turned on. And we also have snap to grid turned on. You can easily create interesting shapes like that. So I'll just do something super nice, nothing complex. Yeah, like that. And we'll just fill this up with a nice little value so we could just differentiate that. And I'll get rid of the stroke. Set the stroke width to zero. So now we have the shape. I'll hit escape. I'll select and click away. Uh, let's use the pen tool again to create another shape. So I'll create this and create a trapezium like that. And I'll make this red. But I like using neutral colors because we could always color it later on. So we have these two shapes, right? So what we can do is this with any shape selected, I have this one selected, the shape selected. I'll just go over here and click. Sorry, I'll click on that and say add from selection. Now we have this shape. I'll do the same thing here. Click the hamburger menu and say add from selection. Now I can easily drag this shape as much as I want to create my integrate design. So we can just see how that works like that. So basically that's how you can create assets. And once you've saved this, it's going to be persistent. Basically, it means if I create a new project, I'll just create a new project now and hit create is a totally brand new project. If you have the assets panel open, if I go back to isometric, you can actually see this available. If I go to sci-fi pack, I have this sci-fi pack available. And I can just drag this. And the cool thing is if I have some effects attached to that object, like if you look at the box, I already have, I've created a group. And in that group, I have recolor and some shadow adjustments. I can just use that to change things. So you can create your assets, have effects on those assets, and you can drag those assets, uh, assets easily and, you know, kind of use them. So that's how you can work with assets and the symbols. I mostly use the symbols because it's a bit organized. You can actually see that we can just go and change any of these. And then there are default assets affinity gives you like this one. These are fog overlays. These are all from affinity and you can just see how these can just be used to add a nice little gradient to your designs. 
So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next quick tip.